Oh, hello there, bloody good day. Welcome to your 51st tutorial in Intermediate Java. I'm just kidding, guys, I'm not old British. And in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to the server and pretty much doing that connection start running script. So connect to server, that's what comment will do. And you know how I said that I was actually going to name things different because whenever I make programs personally, I just don't like to have like uh, the same method names in this program and on the server program but since it will probably be a little bit easier to understand what I did is I'm just gonna name everything the same so I changed the send data to a uh, send message because that's what I named it on the server side so to connect to the server what we need to do is we need to code that public start running method so public void start running start running uh, start running uh, uh. all right so now of course what we need to do is we need to put a try catch in here so try to do this and if you can't do that then catch an exception and the exception that we want you to catch is EOF okay there we go so whenever you catch that they just show that Okay, I'm gonna have to blame that one on my keyboard actually, not me. Because it's never my fault when I do typos, it's always my keyboard. So show message, and that would just be something like client terminated the connection. And last but not least, actually, okay, let me just go ahead and do one other thing. Catch another one. I'm gonna go ahead and catch. IO exception. IO exception. And by the way, if you want to catch different types of um uh errors or whatever they're called, errors, yeah, I guess you can just call them exceptions, I guess. Um this is how you do that. So IO print stack trace and hopefully this is the one we don't see. This is the one that it's okay if we see, but because whenever the client um, basically says I don't want to talk to you anymore then it should just show this message but this IO exception is a uh, one that you know hopefully we don't see it because that means that something really went wrong with the program and you know we're just not ending the connection so if we see the see this then we'll just go ahead and print stack trace now finally once you're done doing all of that then what you need to do is close all the crap down and close crap remember that method was responsible for doing all the housekeeping stuff like closing the streams in the socket so on and so forth so the only other thing we need to do now besides building the show message and close crap method is we need the code the three main methods pretty much the meat of this program the first one is connect to server and um i think that whenever i was making the server program then it was just like wait for connections but since we don't want to wait for any connection the client is responsible for connecting to the server not vice versa so this one's going to be connect to server and it's going to connect to one specific server and of course um, that's why we needed the IP address so we know which server that we want to connect to and after this once you're connected then just go ahead and set up streams and while chatting there we go so make sure I put connect to server set up streams and while chatting with a semicolon can't forget that so now in the next tutorial basically what we did in this one I'm not gonna go through everything again because I explained it in the server class whenever I coded that it's basically the same thing the only line that's different is connect to server and um no, oh, excuse me, I just like burped or hiccup or something. And this is because we don't want to wait for connections from every computer. We only want to be responsible for connecting to one specific computer. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do this in the next tutorial. So we're going to be coding that method in the next tutorial. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you later.